All right, for this problem, we have a household circuit set up with three items in parallel, three resistors in parallel. So let's go ahead and draw that out. Okay, and these are all connected to <coughs> battery, like that. And we have a 120 volt power source. And then we have uh, three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. Now we're told that, we'll say R1 is the toaster oven. R2 will be the, well I guess this is the toaster. Uh, R2 will be the microwave. And R3 will be the oven. <clears throat> All right, um, so what we need to do first is we need to figure out if a uh, 35 amp circuit breaker in this line is sufficient. So what we need to do is we need to find out what this current is going into this junction. And to do that, we need to find the three currents coming out of that junction. We need to find I1, I2, and I3. <clears throat> so we're told that P1 power for the toaster oven is 950 watts. Well, we can set that equal to I1 delta V1. That's I1 times 120. All three of these devices have the same voltage drop across them because they're connected in parallel. Uh, so that means I1 is 7.92 amps. <coughs> for device two, the microwave, it's 1200 watts. That's equal to I2 delta V2. Okay, so I2 times 120. And that means I2 is 10 amps. And then the power of device number 3, 1600 watts, which gives you I3 of 13.3 amps. Okay, now we know from the junction rule that the total current here going into this junction is equal to the sum of the currents that are coming out of this junction. And that's 31.25 amps. <clears throat> so since I total is less than the 35 amp limit, the circuit breaker, the circuit does not break. There's our answer for the first part. Um, for the second part, <clears throat> it says we want to add another device in parallel, like a 750 watt blender. What will happen to the current going through the microwave? Okay, so let's draw this out here. So now we've got um, four devices connected in parallel. Okay, so we've got our original three. But now we're going to add a fourth device down here. So we've got R1, R2, R3, and R4. <coughs> well, so R4 is the blender, and it has a power of 750 watts. All right, so the question says, what will happen to the current going through the microwave? What will happen to the current going through R2? Well, uh, adding, adding R4 doesn't affect the voltage drop across the microwave, nor does it affect the resistor, right? And so I2 is still delta V2 over R2, and it is unchanged. So, right, and that's why household circuits are set up that way, so that even if you add new devices in parallel, it doesn't affect the existing devices that are already running.